You people gave me hope. You told me that I would birth my child. You are singing songs. You have left me without help. There is nothing to say. There is nothing to do. The state you leave me in is the state you will live in. If you do not help me, we will die together. Yes, we will die together. My children, my babies, everybody has died and there is blood on my garments. What are you doing? What are they doing? Why are they singing songs? They have left me. They have left me. There is nothing to say. There is nothing to do. But oh, please, just help me. Please. You have money. You can go, Abby. You said that you can leave if worse comes to worse. You will leave there, Abby. You. You! The Lord gave you to help me. And you have left me. You live in another land. You have left me in the hands of murderers and ritualists. They have made me a caricature among my peers. You have left me because you can afford it. But God will remember. Go! Live in another land. Satisfy your pleasures. All I want is one child. Ah, one birth. Ah, new garments. That's all I want. But it is not important to you. Please, just help. Baby at risk. As we were praying, I saw a woman in labor. She was surrounded by doctors in the labor room. At this time, we were praying concerning Nigeria's birthing process. I saw that someone was turning the baby in the womb. He was making the baby breached so that no matter how much the mother pushes, the baby remains stuck. I had the impression that he was one of the presidential candidates in the elections. The people that were supposed to help her give birth were standing around and doing other things while this traitor came in and did what he liked with the baby and the mother. The mother felt very excruciating and horrible pain. A prophetic dimension. At a point, I felt very sorrowful. It was as though a lot of Nigeria's children had died and it seemed as if a level of growth was supposed to have been achieved. A prophetic dimension was supposed to have been attained through the birth of a prophetic people. But it seemed that there had been a lot of deaths and abortions over the years that had been thwarted. It felt as though it was a hopeless situation like a woman who had been promised hope when she had nearly given up and then the person who made the promise abandoned her halfway through it i had the impression that nigeria was begging for a chance to have just one child a son i'm not very certain what this represents but it seemed like she was begging for a son for a chance for help it feels like more prayers need to be made and more things need to happen. Many things are against this birth and it felt like there would be no other opportunity after this. 30th May 2022 Sister E.R. Copyright Gamwatch. <laughs>